diaphragm. All this means is that you have the thoracoabdominal diaphragm and you want to establish a new dome, a new barrier, because they haven't been breathing. And you might, you might discern when you're examining the patient that one level is higher or lower than one side, especially if they have an upper respiratory infection, and they've been breathing uh, inadequately or coughing, you may, you may just ask them to turn your head left, so you always turn the head away from you if they're sick, and you take a deep breath in. And you might notice what we call an asymmetry, which is part of the T-A-R-T, the tenderness asymmetry range of motion or restriction and uh, tissue texture tenderness in that acronym, T-A-R-T. And you're looking for asymmetry of the chest wall, which you most always will have depending on their uh, clinical exam. So I'm gonna establish, I'm gonna do this by taking my thumbs and approximating underneath the rib cage on both sides. I'm gonna tell her to take a deep breath in and hold there. And as she breathes out, and breathe out, and I'm not gonna go with her, I'm gonna keep my thumbs pointing up. So as she breathes out, I'm not gonna come down, I'm gonna actually resist that end exhalation and create a new barrier or dome of the diaphragm as she does. Let's do that again. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Not necessarily to make the patient hyperventilate because that would be bad for business. Breathe in and out. And I'm going to establish that. Now this is between three to five, five to seven times. Again, 30 seconds, and then just reestablish that dome, okay?